yesterday from Harry Akinis Ayeti, the Briton in lane six, former world youth and world junior champion. Sakonis from Greece in lane five could also be a man to watch. Better known as a 200 meter runner and he's qualified for that final. On the inside, the near veteran Spanish team captain, Angel Rodriguez, former Spanish record holder. He's run 10.29 this season, but only came through the heats as a fastest non-automatic qualifier. Zedanik Stromsic from Czech Republic. 22 years of age, has improved this year to that personal best of 10.29, you can see on your screen in front of you. Last year's European champion, Chirandi Martina. At his best, one of the very few Europeans who've ever gone under 10 seconds. Julian Royce, personal best of 10.01. Not desperately impressive in yesterday's heat, it has to be said. Lukurgos Stefanos Sorakinis from Greece. This is the man we've mentioned already, Harry Akinis Ayate. On the senior stage, best result internationally at 2014 European Bronze. Stuart to Tambe. Really the third choice Frenchman after the withdrawals through injury of Jimmy Bicou and Christophe Lemaitre. And on the outside, Federico Cataneo. So the fast men look as though they're the in lanes three, four, five, and six, the central lanes. Christophe Lemaitre, sadly missed, holds the championship record at 9.95. Martina gets the attention from the inside. Rodriguez, Spain, Stromsic, Czech Republic, Martina, Netherlands, Royce, Germany, Sakinas, Greece, Arkinezat, Iriarte. Great Britain and Northern Ireland, Dutambe, France, and on the outside, Cataneo, Italy. Well, very even break there. Royce perhaps the quickest of the starters. Now, Akeni Zayate starting to work hard, but it's Royce at the moment in the lead. Arte chosing him down, though, over the final 25 metres. Harry... Akinez Ayate takes the plaudits there, overhauling Julian Royce in the final quarter of that race. Unofficial time of 10.21, now confirmed for Akinez Ayate running into a 0.7 metres per second win. So he looked the class act in the heats yesterday and he's confirmed that in the final today. Let's look at that race again, and I think you're right there saying Royce did get a good start, and what's interesting with him is he is very good over the 60 metres, he just can't quite carry that speed on to the 100 metres, it seems, and that's where really Chirani Martina in lane three and, of course, Harry on the outside are making up ground on him. Martina, definitely more of a 200 metre guy, really just coming through over the last few metres, and the Greek athlete, uh, just there, Takonas. He's already run three races here now. He ran the 200 meters yesterday as well. Takes third there behind Aikini Zareti, Royce and Martina. So, confirmation there of the times. Harry Ayos is well known in the British camp, 10.21. Royce, 10.27 and Martina, 10.30. It was at about the 70 metre mark where Harry A got up on the shoulder of Royce and then went past him. Royce didn't have another gear to respond. Confirmation of the results there. Sarkonis, who we'll see in the 200 metres tomorrow, 10.37 for him in eighth, but very strong over 200 metres.